Hello Summoners, Matthew from the Nintendo Treehouse here with some quick tips for the Fire Emblem Heroes game. The characters you voted for in Choose Your Legends 2020 event are here. All four characters are from the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, and it seems like they have all matured since the aftermath of their chosen past. This time, we'll take a look at Edelgard and Dimitri. First, we have the Emperor of the Adrestian Empire, Edelgard. She has completely conquered her foes and now has total control over all of Foldland. This version of Edelgard is donning the regalia of the Adrestian Empire and holds an axe that shares the name of the famous Ult Declare wielded by Minerva and Michaelis of the World of Mystery. Since her days at the monastery, Emperor Edelgard has learned to work better with her allies and no longer needs to fight alone in order to excel. Her weapon, Flower Ult Declare, and her beast skill, Black Eagle Rule, offer her a variety of advantages if she keeps her HP at 25% or more. She can move an extra space, move next to an ally within two spaces, inflict penalties to foes in combat, guarantee a follow-up attack, and even greatly reduce damage from certain attacks. She is an armor unit with strong defense, so be sure to take advantage of her movement options to help protect the rest of your team. That movement combined with the other advantages is key to her success on the battlefield, so be sure to keep her from dipping below 25%. Luckily, her special, Noontime, will help to keep her HP above that threshold, especially since her weapon helps trigger it faster than normal. Edelgard also gets a boosted attack and resistance when in combat with magic, staff, or dragonstone wielding foes and can counter their attacks at any distance when her foe initiates combat. This, combined with Joint Drive Res, allows her to boost her resistance to the same level as her defense. Played well, Edelgard should have no problem tanking physical and magical threats. As mentioned earlier, this version of Edelgard works better with allies, so be sure to consider the positioning of the entire team to really make her shine. Next up is the new King of Fargus, Dimitri. Although he had lost himself for a while, He's come to peace with the past and now looks forward to the future as his land's king. His attire reflects his new position and he wields Fuldland's version of the Gradibus. King Dimitri still boasts a high attack and defense, but he has learned to become more versatile than before. Although his younger self excels during the player phase, this version of Dimitri can be effective on both phases of combat. This is because his weapon, Moon Gradibus, allows him to counter at any distance and his attack stat is no longer tied to the player phase of combat. His weapon also charges his special cooldown for noontime with each enemy attack against him and helps keep him alive. This version of Dimitri also works better with his allies on the field. Keeping him next to an ally at the beginning of the turn will boost the attack stats of both units, and having him attack within two spaces of an ally unit grants him a boost of plus five to attack and defense in combat and an extra boost to those same stats if he has any penalties to them. His defense stat is also important to keep an eye on because it determines whether Blue Lion Rule is triggered or not. If Dimitri's defense is higher than his foes, he can reduce the amount of damage from area effects. This skill can also guarantee himself a follow-up attack if the foe initiates combat. All of this makes him a great option for battles in which he can be inflicted with penalties and against strong physical teams. With high versatility in defense, he can move in for an attack on the player phase and then tank physical blows on the enemy phase, shielding his allies behind him. Be careful though, he is still weak against magical attacks. Dimitri is more well-rounded after becoming king, but now needs to better consider the situation before acting to reach his full potential. As you can see, Edelgard and Dimitri have both learned much through their respective journeys and their new abilities reflect that experience. That's all for today, Summoners. Good luck.